Developing now, 11 Alive confirming today that Atlanta police responded dozens of times in the last year to the same lounge where a security guard was shot and killed two days ago. The concerns about crime have been so great that their lease was reportedly terminated this past fall, but the business never moved out. 11 Alive's Brittany Klein-Peter joins us now with the latest. Police are now telling us that they've been called out over 50 times to this location over the last year. The department saying most of those calls involved car break ins. They were also called out six times for vandalism and destruction to property and five times for disorderly conduct calls. But the most serious three calls for shootings, one homicide and one murder. The other calls ranged from drug violations to larceny. The leasing company over the property saying the crime issue was so great it terminated Encore's lease in September. Then the tenant agreed in October to change its business practices and vacate the building, but it never did. Haybiff Properties tells 11 Alive it has now filed for eviction in Fulton County and is waiting on a hearing. The shooting that killed the Encore security guard happened just after midnight on Wednesday. Police say 28 year old Ty Ross was gunned down outside of the bar after he kicked the suspect out. We spoke with Ross's girlfriend who says she was working at Encore that night. His friend came back inside and was just like frantic. So I just kept asking him like, where's Ty? Where's Ty? Like, and he was just like, Ty got shot. So I ran outside. I saw him like laying on the ground and bleeding out, but I didn't know where he got shot at. So I kind of was just kneeling by him, trying to talk to him. Ross later died at the hospital. Police believe this is the man who shot him. They're offering a reward for any information that leads to an arrest. Reporting in Atlanta, Brittany Klein-Peter, 11 Alive News.